Hey, how's it going, David? Hi. Sorry, my mic. Was no muted. problem. No problem. We got a hand for us. Yes. Um, this is ten ten at Parks. Ten ten at Parks. Awesome. Okay. It's uh straddled, so ten ten twenty five handed. Uh, I have two K in stack. I just lost a hand, so I am. My button. Sorry, let me bring it up. By the way, while you're while you're while you're looking at that, I just again have to say, like, I I was just at par- I'm just at Parks a couple months ago for the meetup, and very very impressed over there. And I, I honestly like I thought there were more games that I'd ever seen before besides like a com. I mean, they had five ten ten games and just a shit lot of two five. Yeah, uh, you'll you'll see like up to I want to say like ten on a Tuesday. Oh my god! And it did. And in Borgata, it didn't even come close to comparing to it. It wasn't even close. I mean, we went to Borgata just so I could play eighty one sixty mix, but like, yeah, it's it's amazing. Games are good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so ten, ten, twenty five. Hand- Is this like a must move game or something? Or breaking breaking main games for breaking not, down? This was a little while ago, so I I don't remember uh, exactly, but uh, villains on the button. I'm in the small blind with Queen of Clubs, Queen of Diamonds. Uh, cut off limps 20 button opens to 60 and I make it 280. So, uh, so cut off limps. We get another cut off limp. Is that right? Cut off yep. limps button to 80, 80 hero has queen of spades, queen of diamonds and the small blind, uh, queen of clubs, queen of diamonds, queen of clubs and the small and you three bet to how much 280, 280. So I, th- I could have went a little bigger, but three X uh, plus the limp ish. Yeah. Thing. Okay. I, I went a little tiny. But again, it's interesting. Cut off limp. Considering I mean, I'm out of position. Cut off yeah. limps in five handed. Is that the under the gun? Yeah, he's first act. Okay. So I just still cut off, I guess. Right, right. But it's it's not quite as egregious. Because <laughs> the guy might not even realize he's playing five handed. You know what I mean? So it's not quite as egregious as, uh, you know, uh, in a full ring game, cut off limp. All right. So button 80, you to 280. Okay. Mm-hmm. So villain in this hand, I played tons with. I play uh, a bunch online with him, and he's. Uh, I would say he's a pro. He plays for a living, so it's definitely uh, solid. Um, he calls flop ten of hearts, seven of diamonds, deuce of hearts. So button calls, and the flop is ten of hearts, seven of hearts, deuce of hearts. Yep. So ten mon- of hearts, seven of diamonds, deuce of hearts. Oh, seven of diamonds. Okay, monotone. Ten of hearts, seven of diamonds, deuce of hearts. Hero with an overpair heads out. Pot looks like it's like about five eighty. And uh, I just I want think, to... I think there's I, I have 600. I think I wrote 610 in the email, but I think there's six because 280, oh, 280, 560 plus the limp and the big blind. Oh, I mean, yeah. OK, I'm just going to put like 600 to make it easy. Uh, ten of hearts, seven of diamonds, two of hearts. Hero does not have the queen of hearts. OK, and heads up from out of position. So normally I just barrel here uh, just with like a lot of range, but I felt he had some stabs and I don't think it's that bad checking here. Um, especially with no heart, maybe there's more of more combos of hearts that he could have where I could check raise. So I check. I'd like to see what you think about that. I mean, I know you were on hold for the previous call. I, I just think that like you guys need to like take what am I trying to say here? Uh what I I, I, I take your no, that's not a word. I'm trying to think what what is the Grow some balls. How about that? I was going to say, take your panties off at 100 well, big it, blinds. It like it's only 100 that. big blinds. Jesus. Well, it, 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 wasn't, it, it wasn't the point of playing scared money. Like, I wasn't scared. No, I know, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying it, it's that. More, like, more or less to get the money in. Like, I, like I, I feel like he has lots of stabs, whether, you know, he has some 8 9, some just broadways that are going to stab. Uh, I mean, he could still have value bets, you know, 10x, flush draws, like low flush draws. Right. I just put it this way I want to get the money in. Like you say, right? So I'm not going to be doing a lot of checking. That's I, I definitely I mean. don't like to check. I mean, like I said, I'm more barreling here, but I I just low frequency. I'm just like, I'm going to mix it up and check. And he checked back. So that happened. Uh, three of hearts on the turn. By the way, too. Uh, so it goes check and then check. And uh, the, who would get it? Nice one. Sam Gibson says it's more of a check with a heart, not without a heart. That is correct, Sam Gibson. Um, and that is, and the reason why that is, is because, um, it's so much easier to call across um, heart turn. So like if you were to look at even, I mean, again, given the caller a little bit of shit here at this stack depth, but if you were to look at certain boards where you would want to check uh, the ones where you had the heart and needed the least amount of protection would be the top ones, which would be aces with the ace of hearts and then sort of down the line, right? Um, I mean, I don't think it's terrible. I'm just saying that um, 
a lot of times at this stack depth, once you build the pot up and you only have like, you know, really three SPR, no less than three SPR left, you just want to start, you want to start putting some money in. Before we move to the turn, I just want to say that uh, we are doing a promotion. If you check out the link in the description, we're giving away three months of Crush Live Poker subscription, premium subscription level for free, plus a year of Preflop Plus with our custom Nate, who's in the live chat, Solve for Live ranges already loaded in and if you want to get into uh into that into registration for that giveaway just click on the little gleam link in the description you can do different things to get more and more entries so 600 check check and what is the turn here uh three of hearts so okay. flush comes in mm -hmm. no and heart of course yep so here i'm just thinking he doesn't have many flushes unless they're like high flushes i expect a lot of his hearts to be betting flop such as like eight nine five six uh some jack nine jack eight whatever um if they do check i mean i mean i'm sure he could but i go a small bet i also don't think he has 10x when he checks back so like targeting eights nine seven x uh so i go 220. so let me ask you this question and uh let me ask you, you this question ahead. before you tell it. What, so just going back to what you said about, oh, I'm when I said like, you know, you're only 200, 100 big blinds deep, you know, why you're checking, you're like, oh, I'm not playing scared just to check, you know, to get the money in. Can you can see how checking the flop and then going 220 here is not, it's going to be hard to get the money. Now, I don't know uh, if you were planning on check raising the flop, like that's how you thought was the most efficient way to get the money, to get most of the money in. Um, well, basically it's depending on the size that he bet on flop. Uh, I was going to, if big bet, I guess I can go, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but I mean, you yeah, see what I, I'm saying, I, I definitely right? messed up the hand. I definitely don't like the check on the flop, but now mm -hmm. that I did check flop, yeah, I just go small size. Cause I mean, he could still have like tons of flushes and right. I don't really, I don't want to get stacks in anymore because any hand that wants to play for stacks now on turn. I, I don't like, I already don't think he has a 10. So like what hand is going to play for stacks? Well, I was I, just going to say that it, it sounds to me like you think he's betting off a lot of 10 X here. So he's probably not that strong. Yeah. I, I think he's betting size. tons of 10 X. Right, so like, right. that's why I'm betting small. I mean, okay. I think I could still go big bet and get heroed as I check flop. And he probably doesn't think I have many strong hands. Do you but... think though that you could go two thirds and then force like a any heart to call? Eights, nines, one heart. If I go two thirds, I think I get called. Or any queen of hearts plus to call, or even jack of hearts plus. Uh, that was another thing. I don't know what one heart uh, hands he has. Like when, when he's when he's calling pre. I mean, other than ace queen off, like ace jack off's probably being folded. Uh, I mean, like like what 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 one heart hand would be calling? Well, I would certainly uh, ace jack off is not supposed to be folded here in this configuration. Uh, on the button versus a small blind three bet five handed. Uh, I, I would be calling all the way down there with king jack off. By the way, I mean I know there's really? one king jack off. I, I thought maybe ace jack. I, I I could stretch it to like ace jack, but I mean I, I'm used to playing online like king jack off just straight fold. If he, in, in a sit well okay so in a, a nine handed game I remember actually looking at this well you know. I, I just remember looking at what the tendencies of good players were. It's kind of weird because it's like five or six handed, but like if you open on the button, even in a nine handed game, even just, you know, with two, um, you know, with two blinds, ace jack off or king jack off, and then the small blind goes 3.5x, like those, I, I think you defend down to king jack off button versus small blind. We can debate about that, whether or not, I, I, I just think it's a, definitely a little bit too tight to uh to fold ace jack off whatever okay so you go 220 third heart yep he just calls okay he does call okay so button calls yeah river uh five of spades by the way we're at 1040 to 1050 all right so you get a five of spades river which is a pretty big brick here and you guys have put in you put 220 in on the turn 280 in pre so you've got like 1500 left right somewhere around there uh yeah exactly 1500 left okay yeah uh, yep there's a thousand forty in the pot. Yep, yep. And now, uh, just like narrowing his range down to like some flushes, some bluffs, and like maybe seven x eights and nines. I, I don't think eights or nines is gonna call a bet. And it, give him the chance to bluff. And if he does have a flush, you know, he has he has a flush. So I check. Yeah, I can. Before you tell us what, before you tell us what you're gonna do. I, I can get on board with that 
because for the reasons you've stated also like i think it's a kind of a bizarre i don't think you're going to get heroed down all that much by hands that have checked back the flop if if you were to use especially like really large sizing on the river because you're that would be such a weird bluff line by you like a delayed c bet bluff line you know that didn't start c betting the flop that just continued like the bluff turn bluff river so i mean i think it seems like you're saying you didn't really think he had 10x a whole lot and maybe maybe he shows up with some hands that don't have a pair in it that were a high heart. Let me ask you this question. What about just blocking the river to get called by like eights, you know, nine? That's, that's exactly what I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. But then I thought he's very capable of bluffing where he could view that as maybe I'm not balanced and then start bluffing. And then the time he does check jam or, or not check jam, he just jams over my bet. Then I don't feel comfortable calling as I just feel it's a losing call long run. So that's literally why I checked. I, I did think about leading, but... Uh, I didn't. The only time, yeah, but the only thing about that that I'll say is that, so you're saying that if you block, you'll induce more of a bluff than if you check? That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I um, mean, plus, <laughs> plus I, I also don't even know, like, I, I don't know if he's calling, you think he's calling eights or nines? Do you have, do you have poker chips in your hand? I am so sorry. I, <laughs> I, I just, it's a, it's a habit. Okay. I just naturally. Right. Yeah. I was, like, I was trying to figure out what that was. If that was a, ball. That was, that's actually poker chips. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, so you can, you can like, you know, sometimes you can do one of these blocks where you, you know, it's some ridiculous things that you're trying to get the guy to like, and do, you know, you're really trying to do it's like you go 80 or something like that. But I was actually talking about like going, you know, 300 to 400. Like 300 maybe. The, I mean, the only other thing that I would say here is, you know, how, so you've got two Queens in your hand, Obviously, you don't have the Queen of Hearts. I just, you know, if he ends up here with Ace High, do those want to, like, if he's got Ace Queen, Ace Jack, God forbid, Ace King, I, I mean, I would assume that's going to be four bet. That's also what I was out. thinking. I don't yeah. know if he bluffs those on River. Right. So that's why, that's why I kind of want to just kind of run out, run off of a block. But okay, so you check. I don't think it's terrible, but that's my thoughts. So you check. Okay. Uh huh. And he thinks for maybe 30 seconds and jams for 1500. So button jams here for 1500. I mean, yeah, and, I, and I tank for a little bit because like, like I already feel like I'm not sure how good the range analysis is, but I feel like his range is already narrowed down to maybe some pocket pairs, eights, nine, seven X, and then, I just don't think them hands that have showdown are going to, I mean, obviously they're not, they shouldn't be. I don't think he's jamming those. So when he's jamming, right. it's just like only flushes like I see. And it's, I, I, but I don't see many bluffs either. Like maybe the, the ace track off one heart, which is already like, maybe uh, I, I, I just don't see many bluffs. And then, and then if I'm going to fold, mm -hmm. it just seems too nitty to fold jacks here. Cause I'm like, what am I doing? Only Me calling flushes Queens then, or jacks. Or a queen, sorry. And then, like, what am I just calling with uh, flushes here? If I'm folding queens? Actually, I don't... Even if you did have jacks, there's no difference uh, in this in this spot. Uh, I, I mean, I understand what you're saying. I, I do understand what you're saying, but I will... I mean, uh, yeah, I kind of... There's a lot of hands that he gets... There's a lot of hands that he gets to uh, here that have um, uh, showdown value enough where they don't have to jam here. I think you are thinking more that he's just close to a hundred percent frequency. He's betting off flush draws on the flop. So he doesn't have much, much, many flushes. I only thought he would bet uh low flush draws, like, like not flush draws. I don't think need to even start betting. That's what I was thinking. Like if he had like a stack mm -hmm. of hearts, mm -hmm. King queen of hearts, etc. Like as in like, they have some showdown, they have like equity such as like five, six. I mean, they have, they have six high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I kind of gave him credit for like, if he had a flush, it was only like a big flush. I didn't think he had many small flushes. If, yeah. if that, that's cut down some of the combos. Here's here's the problem. And whatever the result is, uh, again, the problem is it kind of sounds like you think that this guy's structuring correctly, even pre-flop of her having that discussion with the offshoot Broadway. So, you know, if he's not taking some of the, some of those ace high hands and bluffing with them, cause you know, he thinks he's got some, showdown value then you're left with a lot of offsuit broadways in the form of something that has no shutdown value that only has one heart in it like king queen with a king of hearts king jack with a king of hearts right and you know does he have those 
particular hands. And you, you can count the combos and does he necessarily even bluff with those with those hands. So yeah, I don't know the answer. I think I, I think I would probably do a whole lot more blocking from up front here. And, you know, you can look at this, you know, from an MDF perspective and you're like, well, you know, he's risking pot and a half here. So that so, means I have to defend with what the top 40% of my hands because he's got to be right 60% of the time. Now, are you saying you're always blocking? No, I'm not saying that. And I think I, I, I think I don't, you know, I mean, this, this one's probably pretty close. It's probably pretty close all around. Like, you know, you were checking to induce a bluff and you probably weren't expecting him to jam it in your face. It does appear <laughs> like it is pretty polar. You don't have a heart in your hand, which is it's funny it goes back to that other one like it's good in the sense that there's less flushes that he has it's bad in this I, I think it's it's uh it's good in the sense that there's less flushes that he has and no actually and it's also good that because maybe he has the queen of hearts i that is a some sort of bluff right that he called the turn with i think the last call was something slightly different so yeah it's pretty close i mean did you end up calling or what yeah i ended up calling okay. and uh he showed me king jack of hearts so he turned it. I mean, so he checked back the flush draw. By the way, this is a you know just another for all you guys watching out there. It's another reason why, from the the caller's opponent's perspective, why you don't always have to bet a flush draw. If you yeah. sometimes have like this in in your kind of in your um, especially when short too. By the way, he doesn't have to do a whole lot of building up in position. If you don't bet a flush draw, sometimes if you're not always constantly betting flush draws then you can see how it will sometimes give fits to your opponents. And obviously, you know, for the, um, for David here, David didn't think that this guy had many flushes right here. Well, it's, it's not really that it, it my, my main question was if I play the hand this way, like, am I supposed to call? Because if I end up folding jacks here, like I have no sets on this board. So it's like, am I like, if I'm folding over pairs, like, I mean, what am I calling with? Like only flushes. And then at, at that point, like I said, it just seems way, way, way too tight. David, so, did, you, did you have Queens or did you have Jacks? I had Queens. Did I say Jacks? You did again. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I, there's, there's, I just, there, I have multi, many hands that I, I've sent well, to you. Well, if, if the guy has King Jack of Hearts, there's less of a chance that you have Jacks. Um, yeah. I, I don't, like I said, in an opt in an optimal setting, I don't know. I don't know the answer. You know, somebody could run this because I don't know how off. I I don't think Queens has probably checked all that much, so it'd be one of those situations where you, you it, it's a very sort of small percentage check. Anyways, I would assume at a hundred big blinds live, I find myself getting here. It's a little bit hard for me to get here, and I might overfold here, David, just because for the reasons that I said where. I'm not seeing a ton of hands that have no showdown value for the bluff. I think it's under bluff because of, there's a lot of hands that are checking back here that, that you beat. So that's my take. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.